Canon invited Chelsea and I out to the Canon Expo 2015 in New York City to get a look at Canon's newest and yet to be released technologies. Canon's goal was clear. The megapixel wars aren't over and they're going to win them. Here's a Canon prototype of a 250 megapixel sensor capable of capturing 11 times more detail than a 5D Mark III. I wasn't able to use that, but I was able to play with a 120 megapixel camera taking 210 megabyte raw photos live. With the 24-70 f2.8LIS2, the pictures looked amazingly sharp, even zoomed in one-to-one. -one. And that's with an APS-H sensor. A full-frame sensor with the same pixel density would be about 200 megapixels. But what good is all that detail? Well, this wasn't shot in an airport. That's a massive print with as much detail as real life, and it looked amazing. And I'm not really peering down from the Empire State Building. It's just an extremely high megapixel print. If anything, it was sharper than life. Of course, Canon demonstrated large format printers capable of getting the most out of their new high megapixel cameras, like the 5DSR that we own. They even provided magnifying glasses because the prints had more detail than our eyes could see without assistance. No, these aren't going to make your Instagram pictures look better, but it is opening up new forms of artistic expression for those of us who might want to make very large prints. Speaking of immersive, Canon demonstrated a 360 degree virtual reality system that tracked the movement of your head for both video and sound. It was amazing, but not quite perfect. If you turned your head quickly, you could see tearing in the video, and it did look very video-like and not really lifelike, but nonetheless, it was very cool. Besides the 360 video, Canon is developing virtual reality technology for enterprise training, shown here. Not only could this make training faster and more effective, but it could teach people how to handle dangerous conditions that couldn't otherwise be simulated. Of course, Canon's famous for their lenses, and we got to play with all their big telephoto primes and zooms in a replica baseball diamond. The star, though, was a 600mm f4. And yes, it really is that small. This is the working prototype, and this is the design mock-up, showing what it might really look like. For a point of reference, here's what my 500mm f4 looks like. This technology will forever change wildlife and sports photography, and maybe it'll even save the backs of a few paparazzo. Detail isn't just for stills, and Canon had a huge selection of 4K and 8K video cameras. There were even live actors to film. 8K video is four times the resolution of 4K video. To record it, Canon had a camera outputting four separate 4K channels, so each quarter of the screen was captured with a separate Odyssey 7Q Plus recorder. They then stitched the four corners together in post. Canon's full-frame low-light sensor was on display, too. It's intended for specialized commercial use rather than consumer use, but we do hope to get hands-on time with it soon. Here's some sample footage from Canon. This AK video was remarkable to watch. Each frame is 33 megapixels, and it showed us 30 frames a second. It was immersive in a way only movie theaters are, and I need one. The irony of all this, to create this 4K video in the crowded, low-light conditions of an exhibit, I used a Sony Alpha 7 R2 and a Fast Prime. Because Canon doesn't have anything like it yet. Discreet, full frame, with a stabilized sensor for hand holding. It's only a matter of time before these features trickle down into our Canon DSLRs. Of course, it would have been rude for me to bring a Sony into the expo. I got some strange looks. Oh.